Oh, that, that's, that's how I feel at the moment. A learned child we are on, on retreat. Against that the winter, that's not good. That guy is really, really cunning. Ah, it's true, I gained uh, another thingy. Let's see. Now I want to use advanced focus. I don't even know what focus is still. Ridiculous. Mage schematics, Lord. The Blades of Hesarian. Reduces. The Blades are unquestionably loyal and relentless in battle. Group The group's addition to Inquisition lends significantly to its forces strength. Colin takes 5% less time to complete. Clemens the Tranquil. From Redcliffe is now using his knowledge of minor enchanting to reinforce the Inquisition's defenses. Reduces another 5% for Colin to shit. Great. Let's go with secrets. Tell the story show how to get the maximum usual harvest from each plant. 10% chance to receive extra herbs. That's a good one. But meh. Increasing the in that uh, search thingy. Bolster the number of researchers working to study those who stand against the Inquisition. Grants an additional 50% XP. For each foe studied, including those already completed. And it works retroactively. I don't know. I need things that help me now. Let me r r look at this. To get exclusive training, I need to put four points. I need. I have two points. Historical knowledge Opens up new dialogue options related to the history and the chantry Grants an additional 50 XP for each codex entry I would love to have that one To be honest Let me keep reading this I want this but eh, I can do without until the very end this one does seem rather useful. The good thing is retroactive. So I can take it whenever I, I need a big boost in XP. More, most likely at the higher levels of difficulty. Gain a... No, I'm not going to spend in that. Smuggler Tanner. Tanner's con... Contacts in the underworld supply the Inquisition with both rare goods and vital information that cannot be obtained elsewhere. The Liana is faster doing shit. Okay. So right. So right now it is either uh, arcane knowledge or knowledge of history. What, what would be more likely? To help me, let's see. Nobility knowledge. Uh, yeah, I remember all this. She offers nothing, to be honest. Other than nobility knowledge, all this is completely useless. Look at this! She has the most ancient. <laughs> Barter by Bell. Bell's trading connections on other things give the Inquisition access to valuable commodities and increase its influence with several merchant cartels. Josephine is faster. Skywatcher convinced that the Herald of Andraste was sent by the Lady of the Skies, a shaman of the evil tribes, has sworn himself to Inquisition and helps Josephine with the barbarians, apparently. Okay, so 
What do we do? Historical knowledge or arcane knowledge? What is better? Detailed history of Theda's past or what? No, was it arcane knowledge? Oh, it was chantry knowledge. Where is that? No, some politics. I can swear I saw one that said chantry. Alright, this is it. Now I would say a Dalish elf. The first of a keeper would. Yeah, it, it would definitely be between. The Thedas' the past. Or. Although I'm a spy, all of them look good for a spy. Related to history and the chantry. What would be more likely now? It seems e e everything my character would want to know. Arcane knowledge because she's the first of a keeper. Historical knowledge because that's what supposedly the Elish do. Understand the past, keep traditions alive. Keep the stories of old in their heads all the time. And nobility knowledge because we're a fucking spy. So what would help me most? I would... S practically this one. Because I need four points to get the exclusive training. If I get another agent, I would certainly be able to gain exclusive training. So let's go with historical knowledge for now. Okay, it seems the time has come to decide who we go with. The Hushed Whispers or Champions of the Just. Let's read. Note, choosing the mages will make it impossible to work with the Templars. Redcliffe Castle and the mages who could close the bridge are under the control of Magister Hiraean Alexius, a venatory cultist with an unhealthy interest in Lavalen and the power to, to reorder time itself. He has kindly invited Lavalen to a castle alone to negotiate. It is an obvious trap, but Lelian and her agents can infiltrate the castle and remove the venatory threat while Alex Alexius' attention is diverted. A dangerous game, but it is our best chance. Yes. Or... Yeah. They forced uh, the Lord Seeker to help or... All of the winter will go insane. Why is the Brazilian forest suddenly on, 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 all the way up there? I remember the Brazilian forest being to the south, not to the west, not the east actually. Okay, doesn't matter, we're going with the mages. We need to free the mages from the magisters. That's the difference. If you go with the Templars, what you're trying to do is free the Templars from their own extremists. But here we're trying to free the mages from falling into the hands of the Tevinter mages. And more specifically, the Tevinter supremacists. Which basically means the Magisters of old. Which we hate most, most of all the mages in the lands. We don't have the manpower to take the castle. Either we find another way in, or give up this nonsense and go and get the Templars. Redcliffe is in the hands of a magister. This cannot be allowed to stand. The letter from Alexius asked for the Herald of Andraste by name. It's an obvious trap. 
Alright. So, we've heard from Magister Alexius. I expected as much. And yet some of us want to sit and do nothing. Not this again. Redcliffe Castle is one of the most defensible fortresses in Ferelden. It has repelled thousands of assaults. If you go in there, you'll die. And we'll lose the only means we have of closing these rifts. I won't allow it. And if we don't even try to meet Alexius, we lose the mages and leave a hostile foreign power on our doorstep. Even if we could assault the keep, it would be for naught. An Orlesian Inquisition's army marching into Ferelden would provoke a war. Our hands are tied. The Magister... ...has outplayed us. Never I won't accept that. Impossible. No, the Templars are, are not an option. We... <laughs> How is this guy? Well, no, it's logical. He's, he's just... Uh... Trying to spell doom on, on the plan he hasn't like. But no, we're not going with the Templars. There must be a way. Yes, there is a way. I know it. But obviously I don't. The passage is under the castle, the way we infiltrated it with the warden. But does she know something I don't? Let's see with option number two. Yeah, option number one is basically... I'm clueless, please, someone, tell me how we can do this. Option number two seems like she has a plan, or at least the... Out... yeah, a sketch of a plan. The Magister's son, Felix, told me Alexius is in a cult that's obsessed with me. I doubt they'll graciously receive our apologies and go about their business. But they will remain a threat, and a powerful one, unless we act. Uh. We cannot accept defeat now. There must be a solution. The Earl! That, that would solve um, the objections of Josephine, actually. If it is a Ferelden army with the help of the Inquisition that's retaking Redcliffe, that actually makes sense, you know? Now, the only problem is we're re returning an Arl to the seat of, of power. None other than Tegan, I would believe, or Eamon, which are basically. Chantry apologists themselves. Although Imun has a dirty past, we can. We can. Yes. Yes, we can blackmail Imun. I must. Well, my character must know about all that business in Redcliffe. And since Jawan survived, it is. Uh, did he survive? What the hell happened to Jawan? Did he turn into a Templar? So I have no idea what happens after he does the blood magic right. Hmm. It is worth the troll, definitely. We need another way inside. Or we invade with the Earl. It would be best if the Inquisition takes over. Without bringing the Earl back. Yeah, that would, as I said, dispel any sort of Ferelden uh, distrust of our move. But I don't really care about that. I actually want the royalty to act against me so so we can beat our forces against the the high nobility and take over the country on the other hand if making the earl happy who is queen anora is queen 
No, but Eamon is too high up. Eamon has a claim on the throne. They said so in Dragon Age Origins. Antigan is just one step behind e Eamon in that ladder to the throne. I doubt be, very much they will ever allow the takeover of the country by the Inquisition. They are too, too nationalistic and too devout. Let's go with number three. We need a way that keeps the Inquisition in control of that fortress. That would be a coup. Just, yeah, just like the Magister saw the obvious benefit of taking over the castle and establishing himself there. That as his advanced outpost in the south, we need to do the same going north to, f to Denerim. Other than the main gate, there's got to be another way into the castle. A sewer? A watercourse? Something. There's nothing I know of that would work. Wait. There is a secret passage into the castle, an escape route for the family. It's too narrow for our troops, but we could send agents through. Too risky. Those agents will be discovered well before they reach the Magister. That's why we need a distraction. Perhaps the envoy Alexius wants so badly. While they're focused on Lavellan, we break the Magister's defensives. It could work, but it's a huge risk. Fortunately, you'll have help. <laughs> This man says he has information about the Magister and his methods, Commander. <laughs> Your spies will never get past Alexius's magic without my help. So if you're going after him, I'm coming along. The plan puts you in the most danger. We can't in good conscience order you to do this. We can still go after the Templars if you'd rather not play the bait. It's up to you. Shit. That guy is playing on my fears of dying. Motherfuckers. Of course, Leliana knows of the passage. Uh, I, I was a fool. She, she was there with the warden. Obviously. She knows of the entrance through the water mill. Not the wind mill. <laughs> yeah, that guy is strange. But he seems hell-bent on destroying the... the Venitori. Uh, I, uh, uh, that is useful. And he's not a Magister per se, but he's still at the Intermage, which is almost as bad. Alright. Yeah, I think we don't have any choice, honestly. We must try to free the mages from the inter's grip. What? Shit. Shit. Okay, Solas is out of the question then. Uh, motherfuckers. Now, I shouldn't bring Cassandra. We're still dealing with mages. <laughs> Hello, Seawin. Uh, yeah, we're still trying to convince the mages to join the Inquisition. So, Cassandra. Although Cassandra would anger the Tevinter, she would uh, yeah, play on those rumors that the Inquisition is just the Templar Order Reform or Reward or whatever. And it's turning Blackpool. And Sarah, I guess. So this guy is a companion, huh? And he recruited himself into Inquisition. <laughs> uh, what do you know? What an asshole. 
I like him. I hope I can respect him. Otherwise, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Talk often to your companions. Yes, I always do that. But they seem to... Don't tell me much. The juicy. That guy is... That guy is really funny. I prefer him much more than Sarah. As comic relief. All cocksure. Plus, he has that mustache. Really, see when you think I'm going to get killed. It is highly, highly likely. You are right. Although I'm hoping I'm overpowered at the moment. But I just lost um, a mage. I just lost all his gear as well. Announce us. The Magister's invitation was for Mistress Lavellan and no one else. You lot wait here. Yeah, let's try not to overplay our hand. They must, uh... yeah. Let's let's yeah let's act as if we came here to actually talk. They have to accompany me. You wouldn't deprive me of my attaches, would you? Yes, obviously. They are diplomats. Of course they are. And I hope they give me at least a little bit of time to equip. Where, where the hell is My that Lord guy? Magister, Shit. The agents of the Inquisition have arrived. And it's logical. My friend, it's so good to see you again. And your associates, of course. I'm sure we can work out some arrangement that is equitable to all parties. Are we mages to have no voice in deciding our fate? Fiona, you would not have turned your followers over to my care if you did not trust me with their lives. Uh, well, it's, it's, yeah, it's logical. That guy is not with me. That the winters know him. So we're one. one mage short, which is even worse. Now we need to get the trust of the elf. Blood magic, yeah, not magic will definitely fuck me up. Yes, we need to, to generate some goodwill with with uh, Fiona. If the Grand Enchanter wants to be part of these talks, then I welcome her as a guest of the Inquisition. Thank you. The Inquisition needs mages to close the breach, and I have them. So... What shall you offer in exchange? <laughs> yeah, I need to remember what is going on. I'm being a distraction, aren't I? So Liliana can move agents through the underground with Dorian, apparently. And Colin can marshal our forces and attack the keep 
or the castle. That's what's going on, isn't it? So we we need to play this out for as long as we can. Draw out the conversation until my military arrives. The Inquisition has many backers among the Orlesian nobility. I'm sure we can find suitable compensation. I'm not sure what the Orlesian nobility have to offer that I don't already possess. She knows everything, Father. Fuck you! Felix, what have you done? <laughs> Motherfucker. Was that the trap? Was Felix's plan all along? Shit. What the hell is going on? He's just like that Cunary spy. Why does everyone divulge their secrets so easily? Ah, see, when I would normally slap at the intermage in the face, but... Mm, we have a plan, and it, it needs subterfuge, which obviously is no longer necessary. But I want to know why they want to kill me. So I'm going with number three. Or should we keep the farce going? Number one? Number one? Yeah, he... He doesn't know the Magister, I mean. The Magister doesn't know we are going to invade the castle, does he? So we can keep playing the sympathetic, concerned Inquisitor, Herald of Andraste, for a little bit more. Yeah, I think we can. I, I want the... <laughs> yeah, let's print our, our clothes in... The winter red, huh? Yeah, let's try to, as I said, draw out this as much as possible so Colin can come to save my ass. Your son is concerned that you're involved in something terrible. So speaks the thief. Do you think you can turn my son against? <laughs> you walk into my stronghold with your stolen mark, a gift you don't even understand, and think you're in control. You're nothing but a mistake. Alright. The farce is over now. I don't give a shit who killed the UN, to be honest. Good for them. So it is them that are responsible, it seems. What is the mark? He said, he said it's a gift. I think. And what was supposed to happen? Well, either himself or another Benitori, I would say, were supposed to get the mark. So I can guess two answers. Who killed the divine? They did. Or, or it was an accident. Either deliberately or not. They they were trying to get the mark. And that destroyed the conclave. What was supposed to happen? One of them were, was supposed to get the mark, not me. So what is the mark? If you know so much, enlighten me. Tell me what this mark on my hand is for. It belongs to your betters. You wouldn't even begin to understand its purpose. Father, listen to yourself. Do you know what you sound like? He sounds exactly like the sort of villainous cliché everyone expects us to be. Dorian, I gave you a chance to be a part of this. You turned me down. The Elder One has power you would not believe. He will raise the Imperium from its own ashes. 
Okay. Yeah, so obviously he's a fanatic. What kind of power? Well, I would say the Inter Mages only respect one kind of power, and that's magical power. So he must be some sort of powerful mage, demon, something like that. But will would he tell me? The Elder One is truly powerful, I, I have no doubts. If a Magister of the Winter has respect for someone, they must truly be powerful, immensely powerful, frighteningly powerful, because they use blood magic. The, the Winter Magisters, I would argue, are the most powerful mages. The mightiest of the might. Will he tell me who is the Elder One? I, I don't think so. Because... Because he is calling him by... A sir, not a sir, a nickname. But maybe he can tell me what is the Elder One. At least if he's a human, a demon or something else entirely. Really, see, when you think I should ask what kind of power. I, I, yeah, I agree. He, he won't tell me what, who he is. It's highly unlikely. Otherwise, he, he would be saying, uh, the Elder One, the Archon, whatever, Demon, X and X, or the Old God. Well, we can rule out a dragon, I think. Or maybe not. Yeah, but I want to know what it is. Because I can guess what kind of power. It must be magical power. It's the only logical conclusion. If I ask what kind of power, he most likely will tell me. What do you think? Daily imbecile? Magic. Powerful magic. The kind of magic that will allow a tiny, tiny empire to reconquer a continent. That's why I'm leaning towards number one. Although I agree with you that it is unlikely he will tell me who it is, but maybe he will tell me what the Elder One is, which is information I, I mm, can use to prepare to face him, because obviously the Venitori answer to the Elder One. Which uh, means he will try to kill me at one point or another, or capture me at the very least. So what do you say, Seawin? Number one is okay, given what I've... What I've uh, Argued here. I really hope they give me time to equip this guy. I don't like the looks of this. I guess Colin was right. This is a, a, a death trap. To some extent. Ah, but uh, I know he's a fanatic. I already know that. I don't need to tell him to his face. To his face. But we're going to kill this guy. I don't need to anger him. He's already pretty, pretty, ang uh, yeah, pretty, pretty <laughs> angry at us because we stole the mark. We are a foolish elf, and uh, we are trying to turn his only son, his only begotten son, against him. Yeah, let's ask this. That's who you serve? The one who killed the Divine? Is he a mage? Soon, he will become a god. 
He will make the world bow to mages once more. We will rule from the Boric Ocean to the frozen seas. You can't involve my people in this. Alexius, this is exactly what you and I talked about never wanting to happen. Why would you support this? Stop it, father. Give up the Venatori. Let the southern mages fight the breach, and let's go home. No. It's the only way, Felix. He can save you. Save me? There is a way. The Elder One promised, if I undo the mistake at the temple... I'm going to die. You need to accept that. Seize them, Venatori. The Elder One demands this woman's life. Shit! Good Liliana! <laughs> Your men are dead, Alexius. You are a mistake. You should never have existed. No! What the hell it happened? Are we going to evade again? Okay, so the lad is the elder one. Where they come Shit. from? What? Motherfuckers! No tank. Great. What? That guy? Shit. Interesting. It's probably not what Alexius intended. The rift must have moved us to what? The closest confluence of arcane energy. This is bad. I remember we were in the castle hall. Let's see. If we're still in the castle, it isn't. Oh, of course, it's not simply where, it's when. Alexius used the amulet as a focus. It moved us through time. Fuck. What? <laughs> well, it's obviously possible. Shit, I'm going to die. That guy ate ten, ten health potions. How is that possible? Did we go forward in time or back, and how far? Those are excellent questions. We'll have to find out, won't we? Let's look around, see where the rift took us. Then we can figure out how to get back. If we can. Well, I would guess we're in the future. Because the 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 soldiers yelled Blood of the Elder One. Alexius mentioned an elder one in the hall. Do you know who he was talking about? Leader of the Venatori, I suspect. Some magister aspiring to godhood. It's the same old tune. Let's play with magic we don't understand. It will make us incredibly powerful. Evidently, it doesn't matter if you rip apart the fabric of time in the process. Okay. What was Alexius trying to do? I believe his original plan was to remove you from time completely. 
If that happened, you would never have been at the Temple of Sacred Ashes or mangled his Elder One's plan. I think your surprise in the Castle Hall made him reckless. He tossed us into the rift before he was ready. I counted it. The magic went wild, and here we are. Makes sense? Yes, it does. To be honest, it's the only thing that makes sense. <laughs> Uh, but we're going to... Uh, I think you're right, Siwin. when this is the end. There were others in the hall. Could they have been drawn through the rift? I doubt it was large enough to bring the whole room through. Alexius wouldn't risk catching himself or Felix in it. They're probably still where and when we left them. In some sense, anyway. Shit, no tank. No, no rogue, I can play with no rogue, but with no tank? We're doomed. But I truly hope he has a plan. I don't understand anything about time magic, so... If he... Yeah, he's going to, to, to lead us here, obviously. In a crazy way it makes sense. Yes, it does. It's magic. When nothing makes sense, the answer is always magic. You have a plan to get us back, I hope. I have some thoughts on that. They're lovely thoughts. Like little jewels. Cut his mustache. How the fuck did you eat 10 health potions, you fucking stupid intermage? Should kill you. Yeah, this is the future. Look at this red lyrium all over the place. We are in the future. I have no doubts about that. Shit. Shit in my pants. Well, no wonder he couldn't do shit. He, he is basically a piece of garbage. Holy Christ. What do we do? I don't know. I am truly at a loss here. Although I don't understand. Uh, well, let's assume we are in the past. We are in the future. We are in the future. That means the future... Colin, Leliana... Um, Iron Bull, all of them could possibly turn up. Uh, their future selves... Could possibly turn up. Looking for us because they know we disappear. Although we seem to be in the fortress of a Benitori. I don't know. What do I do? I don't have any offensive abilities on my on her, but I cannot make this man an offensive mage that will kill us as well. Ah, motherfuckers. Let's start with the obvious, which is Fate Step. Everyone needs Fate Step. Really, that's what's going on? Sea win? I, uh, I have no idea. If that's the case, uh, things are going to be fucked up. I just know we're in the future. But you're telling me we're in an alternate reality. I thought we were in the future. In a future where we disappeared from the timeline. And... Uh, and the Venitori won, it would seem. Since apparently... Yeah, you get erased from time. Yeah, Flex. I think I'm going to die. I truly do, to be completely honest. Okay. Let's give him... Uh, barrier, I guess. If I don't get a, a warrior, I'm going to die. Okay. 
believe in the maker. The maker is a fairy tale, O'Neill. I'm sure Bioware will explain it all, I have no doubts on that. Shit, 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 shit. Shit, shit, and dull shit. I have to make him defensive, I cannot, cannot do otherwise. If I don't make him defensive, we will die, I can assure you. And, uh, but we're likely to die anyway, fucking bullshit. Fucking bullshit! If I can not draw aggro from my ranged uh, allies, then I, I, I'm i done! There is nothing I can do. Let's give him flash fire. Uh, I don't like it, but whatever. Mm. I already use electricity magic. What characters do I have? I have uh, the companions, you mean? I have, I think. I have uh, Blackwool, Sarah, Barrick, Iron Bull, Cassandra. Well, if Cassandra shows up, I'll kiss her ass from here to Parbolet. Uh, who else? Vivienne is not around because I turned her down. That's it, I think. And Solas, obviously. Well, if anyone could conceivably turn up his Solas. Because he can use magic to track us in the Fade. And apparently in the Fade there is no time either. Since... Uh, those seers can look into a future. That means demons and spirits can can definitely look into a future. I'm sure I'm going to die. I, I, my playstyle is predicated upon having a, a mage. <laughs> this music is really sad. You know why it is sad? Because I'm going to die. Uh, <laughs> the game knows it. I'm going to get killed. Holy shit. I got fucked in right in the ass. Okay, how do I expect here? Okay, six, five, five is barrier, I, I'm really bad at casting all this shit. Let's put this in nine. I, I haven't played my character for what, 30 hours to 35 hours? I don't touch her. She has what she must. I played the, 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 the tank. Which means, if I die, it means I will have to play a tank. Mm, an elven tank. Well, he doesn't have in, any, any in his inventory here. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Well, 12 constitution, hallelujah! That will help us immensely. 12 constitution, this is for killing people, I don't know. Should I? No. 
<laughs> I cannot wait on discussion and choices. They returned me all this shit now. I don't know if I should give him more constitution. Uh, yes, let's give him more constitution. Fuck it all. Maybe all nine, that nine magic will... Will somehow make up for all, for the loss of attack and damage against living. I don't know. This is crazy. Bioware really fucked me over. Nine willpower. Well, that's good. <laughs> I think they returned me every single equipment for a mage I had. Make him a mage tank. If only I could. Okay, let's give him willpower. Doesn't he look awesome? I think that hat really meshes with his personality. Yeah, because now. No, I didn't give me shit. Yeah, if I could make him a, a tank, I would, but I don't think I can. Stat-wise, we're very similar. I have much more armor and magic defense than he has, but... Ah, shit. Maybe I got it all wrong. Shit. You know what? I, I fucked up royally. I should have made him a... Nah, I can... I, I, can I... Uh, yeah, I think I I, I, I... 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 Should have made him an offensive... Mage. And I could have controlled him. Let Lily do what she... Wanted and draw aggro to me. Fuck! Just like I, I, I was playing the warrior. Motherfuckers. I should have done that. Should... Let me think on that. I don't have anything for him. If I don't get a warrior, uh, that is going to kill me. But if I get a warrior, I don't think Bioware are that sadistic. Could they be that sadistic? Oh, yes, they could. They definitely could be that sadistic. Shit. Any warrior, any warrior, I can kite with any warrior. Just give me a fucking warrior. I don't know, I don't think I've found myself in a situation like this. In, well, the fade in Dragon Age 1. Although I was alone. Alright. Ah, shit, shit, shit. Well, the save game just spoiled me. 